How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to yet another Arduino tutorial in which we're going to be talking about another wireless way to connect to your Arduino which is the Bluetooth. So as you can see on my breadboard right now I have the Bluetooth module as well as the um, acclaimed RGB LED. So with the aid of an Android app which is not created by me I can connect to the Bluetooth module and very easily um, for example change the brightness of each color of the LED. So as you can see, I'm controlling the blue, the green, and the red. I can also toggle all my digital pins. So as you can see, the LED on pin 13 of the Arduino can be toggled on and off. And obviously this offers you a lot of opportunity to create all kinds of uh, wireless gadgets. You can turn on and off your lights at home if you wish. You can control robots. Um, and another thing that I want to mention is this is extremely um, simple. Honestly, I thought there was going to be much more programming involved in order to get this running, but uh, there's a lot of there are a lot of apps available directly on the Android store as well as the uh, iOS store, which you can use directly with your modules. Um, so we're going to talk about the way you connect to your uh, Bluetooth module, how you need to set it up, which app you need to download. Uh, we're going to oversee. Uh, the software which comes with this app. I'm using a pre-made code from the developer of this app. So we're going to take a look at what capabilities uh, it gives you. And uh, finally, yeah, we'll show uh, showcase this project once again and uh, take a look at what's available on the app itself. So let's jump right in. So the connections to the um, Bluetooth modules are rather simple. So you have a four pin connection. Uh, two of the pins are obviously used to power the module, so I have it hooked up to the 5 volt uh, rail as you uh, can see right here, as well as the diagram on your screen. The next thing you need to uh, watch out for is you're connecting your uh, transmit and receive signals to the Bluetooth module, but they will be marked the opposite. So essentially on your Arduino you are transmitting versus on the Bluetooth module you are receiving. So you're TX would go to the RX on the module. So if you look at the labels on the back, you need to make sure you are connecting TX from the Arduino to the RX. And uh, lastly, RX from the Arduino to the TX on the Bluetooth module. And uh, you are pretty much done. Um, another thing to watch out for is your Bluetooth module will most likely be rated 3.3 volts. So what a lot of people have done is they've uh, created a voltage divider in order to lower the 5 volts down to 3.3. This is something that you should watch out for and be aware of. But as far as I've uh, read on a couple of websites, it, it is not mandatory. So you can get away with uh, just sending a 5 volt signal directly from the Arduino to the Bluetooth module without uh, damaging the module itself. So yeah, uh, those are pretty much all the connections. Uh, for the RGB LED, you can watch my previous tutorials or uh, if you're looking to connect something else, then uh, it should be uh, just as easy. So as I mentioned earlier, the Android app which I'm going to be using is called ArduDroid. This is programmed by Haseem Bitar, uh, so all credit goes to him for the program as well as the demo software that I'm going to be uh, using for my project and this is uh, public domain as you can see the license is public so you can uh, use this code in your projects as long as you give the credit and we're going to be quickly walking through the Arduino code itself uh, very quickly so he's using a lot of um, commands in order to filter the signals from the uh, phone to the module so there's going to be a start command chart an end command chart a div uh, divider character. So if you uh, read through the code, you will see how he filters um, the serial signal. So he always uh, essentially checks what is coming through the phone. And if it does correspond to the, uh, for example, to the start command character, then uh, this will indicate that it is a uh, transmission for the Bluetooth module. So I'm not going to go through this uh, in detail, but there's a lot of uh, functionality in terms of you can send a text uh, from your phone to the Bluetooth module and then you can obviously reuse this in your programs to do a certain uh, combination of actions based on that digital write. So this is uh, fairly simple. He checks all the digital pins and then toggles them as you did on your phone. The analog, which I will be using for the 
uh, RGB LED, the, um, the data which you will see on the app as well. Um, what else do we have? And this is the digital pin function. So it's going to check every single pin and uh, obviously trigger it as uh, you clicked on the app. So let's put this on the Arduino, load it up and uh, connect to the module, see what we can uh, do. So here's the unmodified code on the uh, Arduino interface. We're going to load it into the Arduino and this code is also going to be available on my website as well as the linked website from my description. So let's verify the code. Upload. And as you can see, the Arduino is going to try and write, but you will get this. Most likely you will get this error. So AVR dude, SDK 500 get sync, not in sync. So this, the reason for that error is that the Arduino is programmed through the RX and TX pins as well. So what you need to do is disconnect the Bluetooth module temporarily, verify your program and upload it once again. So this time it should uh, correctly transfer to the Arduino and you should be all set you can reconnect those pins and we will uh, start looking at how to connect the app to the actual Bluetooth module. So once you load all your software into the Arduino and load the app on your smartphone, you will probably notice that the Bluetooth module is going to have a blinking red LED. So this indicates you that it is not paired to any device as of right now and it is not ready to talk. So once you're in the app and the main screen, you can click on settings, connect me to a Bluetooth device. In the list of devices, you will most likely see an HC06 or HC05, depending on the version of the Bluetooth module you have purchased. So you can select that particular module. And uh, if the pairing is successful, it will keep uh, a steady red LED and it will tell you that it is connected to that particular device. One thing you want to take note of is if you get asked for a password and this happens the first time you connect to the module, it is one, two, three, four or four zeros for my, in my case, it was one, two, three, four. So once you have entered that once, it will not ask you for that password again. So now that you're connected, you are free to use uh, any of the analog write pins, you can use the digital pins, you can send and get data. So since um, I have an RGB LED connected, I can right away dim it down or brighten it up as I please. So as you can see, once again, uh, based on the demo at the beginning of this video, I can change the three brightness uh, settings for the LED. So if I put all of them to maximum, I should get a white color. Otherwise, if one is missing, you should get uh, a mix of colors. So obviously in this application, it is very basic, very simple, but you can combine this with servo motors. You can uh, put this module on your uh, robot in order for it to start remotely. You can, like I said, dim your lights, you can toggle relays, whatever you wish. And it is really simple. I encourage you highly to just uh, buy one of these modules. They're really cheap. Uh, inexpensive Bluetooth modules and ways to connect wirelessly to your projects. So once again, thank you guys a lot for watching. Uh, hope to see you next time. Let me know what kind of projects you're doing. Click the subscribe button on your screen right here. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Bye.